Hey guys, welcome back to Deb's Journey. I'm Debra, and today I want to share with you a grocery haul. My grocery haul today comes from Walmart, and these are things that I buy pretty regularly. Hopefully it'll give you an insight on, on how I eat and the things that I eat in order to achieve successful weight loss. Um, I am a little over a year now doing keto. Let's see, August the 6th makes one year. August, August, September, October. So yeah, I'm about a year and three months in and I am 95 pounds down, yes. I can't wait for 100. <laughs> um, you know, you're always looking for your next goal. And that's how I encourage you to, to, you know, to start, at least give yourself a goal. In the beginning, I gave myself a 60 pound goal and then I blew right through that and I kept on going. And, um, and reward yourself whenever you make that goal. But I do encourage you not to reward yourself with food. So if you say, if I make this, this uh, 60 pound goal, or maybe it's 20 pounds, maybe you just wanna do 20 pounds at a time, maybe it's even less, maybe say five pounds, right? Whatever your first goal is gonna be, um, reward yourself. Maybe it's gonna be, um, you know, a movie or uh, a shopping spree or something that doesn't have to do with food, <laughs> okay? The reason why I say this is because I have such a bad relationship with food and a lot of people do. And so we say, okay, well, if I lose, you know, 10 pounds and I'll reward myself with, with the pizza or with uh, ice cream, that kind of thing. But I guess our mentality of, of food needs to kind of change. I know mine still does. Even almost 100 pounds down, I'm still, I still have to face those um, demons, if you will, you know, um, of overeating or wanting to eat the wrong things. And on my treat days, I, I reach for those things and I'm trying to change my mentality. And so I just encourage you to not allow that to be something that you re reward yourself with, but let it just be something like, oh, okay, yeah, I can eat that, you know, instead of, oh man, I'm gonna get myself a big old brownie or I'm gonna get myself a big old pizza, that kind of thing, just because, um, already our mentality of food is so bad you know that we want to try to stick with as much healthy food as we can so reward yourself with something that's non-food related perhaps now if you choose to reward yourself with food by all means you know you <laughs> i don't know you so um just pick pick something that you know that will lead you down a good path instead of like me <laughs> going down the wrong path time after time <laughs> um so yeah i wanted to share this haul with you i hope you enjoy it all right so i got a really good deal at a walmart today um i'm trying to think what i didn't buy that i usually buy but what i bought today are pretty much the basics of what i'm constantly buying and how much i spent today was how much 184.43 184.43 and my balance today was 183 184.43 oh. <laughs> okay 184.43 184.43 which I don't think is bad at all because it is gonna tie us over for a few I don't know, maybe two weeks or so, maybe a little bit longer there may be certain items that I have to repurchase but nonetheless I mean I'm gonna have a lot of that stuff like the butter, the chicken, the bacon, a lot of these things are gonna, even the, the flowers that I bought, you know, you, those are not things that you buy constantly. So, and plus I bought so much chicken and all those eggs, um, you'll see in just a minute. <laughs> you will see how much I bought in just a second. But anyway, thanks for tuning in and I hope you'll enjoy. Let's go see what I bought. Come on, come with me. Head this way. All right, starting with our meat. Um, I always buy these really big bags, 10 pound bags of, can you see it? 10 pound bags of chicken breast. This time I bought two big bags and they're about $18 each. 
Um, this is the only thing I really remember the price of. If you want me to, to add prices, I sure can. But comment down below if you want prices. Um, then I have lots of recipe ideas to do with some chicken this week. That's why I bought so much. But also I wanted to, it to hold us um, over for a while. But we love wings, so we make our own. I make my own wings, so I got some of those, a big bag of that. This is a four pound bag of, I guess, just the drumettes. Two packs of bacon and two packs of the three pound turkey. Uh, some olive oil. Uh, I'm gonna be making like a cordon bleu sometime this week, like a cordon bleu casserole. I will show you that recipe if you like me to. Um, so yeah, it's just this. I actually looked online to see uh, which one had the best um, carbs because let me see. This one here has just one carb per serving, which is four. Oops, oh, sorry, four slices. So this one, this actual brand had the best because I was gonna get some from the deli, but even that had like three carbs per um, per serving. And I'm thinking it's because of the sugar that they use to brine the um, the meat before cooking it. Then I bought um, one pound of ground turkey, I mean, excuse me, chicken, a big bag of cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. And this is the big old bag, five pounds. Um, I bought some of this, this one's my favorite. It is the G. Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. Oh, I got the honey flavored. Oh, I've never tried that one before. I usually get hickory. Um, and then two cans of pumpkin puree. And one big thing of peanut butter. I got a bag of this. I have lots of chocolate actually in stock. But I can never, I can never resist buying a bag of chocolate. Um, so this here is really good. I've tried it before. I actually think I may like it better than Lily's. I don't know. Don't tell Lily. All right. And so I got a pack of two of these um, of this butter. This is salted. I bought some celery, two avocados, a big bag of garlic. A big bag of, oh, something's falling over. A big bag of almond flour. This one is the, let's see. Four pound, four pound bag of almond flour. Uh, another bag of coconut flour. I'm almost out of that. I bought two of these Swerve confectioners. I bought three big cartons of chicken broth. And look at all these eggs. <laughs> I bought four cartons of eggs. And actually, I really think that this was a steal because I didn't spend that much. I haven't totaled it, but I'll put it right here. It's gonna hold us over for quite a while. I'm gonna be able to put all this meat in the freezer and just um, use it as I need. For these, I like to Take them out of the bag and put at least three or four of them in a freezer gallon sized bag. That way I can just grab it without having to take the whole bag out and defrost it as need be. Um, for this here, there's only three of us living here so I us we usually eat like half of one of these. And this is a three pound so we usually do about one and a half pounds um, every time we eat. And so yeah, I have lots of recipe ideas that I'm going to be trying this week. It is gonna be a busy week, but I think it's gonna be doable. And of course, you know, I have to have my my baking items because I can't live without my baking items. All right, let me show it to you one more time.
We got three big packs of water. All right, guys, so that's what I bought. All of those yummy foods, I have lots of plans for them. I'm going to start um, last week. Was it last week? Yes, I think it was. Oh, actually, it was last weekend. I went to Costco and bought a big bag of pecans because I want to try some pecan pies. I want to try some candied pecans. I want to try... Um, what else did I want to try? There was another recipe with pecans that I want to try. But um, I want to go buy another bag of pecans because I love pecans. I love pecans. And they're a very keto-friendly food. I think it's like one carb per 15 or something. I mean, you can't beat that because they're just, they're very rich. They're delicious. And so um, dipped in chocolate, they're amazing. And so, um, yeah, um, you you saw that uh, pumpkin puree that I bought. I want to really try some stuff with that and try some cheesecake. Yum, yum, yum. And whatever turns out delicious, I will share with you. <laughs> I'll make a video and I will share that with you. So thanks for tuning in. Share this video with somebody you know who is starting keto and doesn't know what to buy. And I will talk to you next time. Make sure you subscribe, comment down below. I already said share this video. Go buy you some keto friendly foods. Let's do this. Let's let's do it until we are meeting our goal. Maybe your goal is a lot less than mine. I still have a long ways to go. But I have learned to love the keto lifestyle. And I don't know what the future holds for me as far as once I'm done. I'm hoping that I'll continue doing keto, but you never know, right? So Anyway, I love you guys, be blessed, have an amazing week, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Deuces.